Uh, blessed be your name. Be thy exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory because you are the giver of all good things of life. And you are the deliverer, delivering us from the evil things of life. Be thy exalted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity. Blessed be the name of the Father. In Jesus' name, I worship. I pray for as many that we have time to say amen. That every local, international, or intercontinental witchcraft that may be discussing your case anywhere, be it in marine world, be it in the forest, be it in mountaineering, be it in the desert, be it in the heavens or underneath the heart. I decree that at the mention of your name in those places for evil, the thunder fire of God will appear on your behalf. Scatter them to desolation in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil arrow meant for you will always go back to the sender. You will not die young. You shall fulfill your destiny. You will enjoy God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, wonderful God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah, by the grace of God, in this series, Animalistic Nature in Marriage. I want to bless the name of the Lord for either two. He has been the stone of our help, that is Ebenezer. is the one that is helping us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We just concluded the one of the causes of animalistic nature that we said modern day division in sexual activities and i said today we are going to another subtopic but before we go to the another subtopic let me just give this warning uh, for us to really be able to remember very vividly when we talk about this modern day division on sexual activities uh, in our own modern time, people learn too much about pleasure of sex. How you can locate the G-spot, how you can satisfy your man, your woman, the best position you can be, this, that, etc., etc. You know, the time spent in sexual intercourse are highly limited. Maybe IS. 30 minutes or an hour. But the time of meditation on sexual activities are very greater. If you cut the brain of some people and agonize the information that has stored in some brain, you'll be surprised that you just see a lot of sex, 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 sex as a result of what we discuss about spirit of seduction and this modern day teaching about sexual pleasure. People are carried away with the sexual pleasure than the value of the sex, which, is, which must be used in the marriage for procreation, bringing up or bringing forth godly children. People now abandon the tutelage or the discipline of children in marriage to sexual pleasure. And that is why the whole world is turning upside down. And on us, we quickly arrest this scenario. It may be too late for this generation to get deliverance from it. Well, enough of that. By the grace of God, another cause of animalistic nature involve me, involve you, and we all depend on how we can understand this together. And what is that? Religion. Religion is a way prepared by man how man can relate into the supernatural. Religion is all about the spirituality of individual in response to the spiritual realm. Religion has a lot of things to do with ritual metaphysical has a lot of things to do with art has a lot of things to do with mythology has a lot of things to do with belief 
has a lot of things to do with faith. Religion, to a larger extent, is an opium of the society. If anyone is carried away with religion, it's very, very difficult for that person to be subjected to changes. In religion is where we have what is called indoctrination. Religion is so disastrous to the extent that there is no one religion in this world that does not have movement and sect. If a religion starts as a unit, before you know it, there will be some division in it. And in many religions of the world, there are counter sect, counter movement, counter belief that within a religion, you will see different beliefs that are opposite each other that one that belong to one sect we hate the other with perfect hatred that if there is a kind of intermarriage within the same religion there can be a lot of disaster you understand some people of the same religion of all different religion they marry out of some assumption that maybe by the time i marry this woman i will make her to worship my god or to worship my idol, or to dance to my tomb. But they will later discover that it is very, very difficult for that man or that woman to bend. And based on that, animalistic nature will now begin to be exhibited in a man or a woman. There are no basis for understanding in that marriage. I remember a man when he wanted to marry his wife sometimes ago. The wife was a church goer because I will not say he's a Christian. And this man is an allergy. And this lady did not want to agree with that allergy. And the allergy said, Don't worry. When I marry you, you continue your Christianity and I will continue my Islam. That for you to be sure, let us enter into a written agreement that even when we have children, our children can make choice of their own, I will not disturb them. Lo and behold, they wedded. And they started their life as if they agreed to their agreement. But later, when this man asked about four children, one day, the man just brought plastic. Well, the four children are already going to church. He now told all the children that they must be going to mosque, that if they don't go, the man brought out horn and said, it will cost them and that cost will stay on them. And that's how those children are begin to go to mosque, and the woman was not happy. They are living like cat and rat, and that allergy married the second wife. So when we are talking about religion, it's an opium of the society that what one has imbibed in may be very, very difficult to be purged out of that person. So religion, to a larger extent, is one of the cause of animalistic. By the grace of God, next week we continue on this. We look at some sects, even within some religion, and how they can, to any extent, even destroy each other because of their belief. Not to now talk about when they cross marriage. There's a religion now that if other religion marry their daughter, they will give that daughter 30 days to revert that marriage. If not, they will cut.